Pythagoras property. In mathematics, there is a special property called the Pythagoras property. This tells us the relationship between the sides of a right-angled triangle. Do you remember what a right-angled triangle is? Triangle ABC is a right-angled triangle. It is a triangle where one angle is a right angle. The two sides which are part of the right angle are called the legs and the side that is opposite to the right angle is called the hypotenuse. Make sure you remember these words, especially the word hypotenuse. Hence, in triangle ABC, angle B is a right angled triangle and segment AC which is opposite to the right angle is called the hypotenuse. So, is this a right-angled triangle? Yes, it is. Which sides are the legs? Side AB and side BC. Which side is the hypotenuse? Side AC. Alright, good job. Let's try one more now. So, is this a right-angled triangle? Yes, it is. Which sides are the legs? Side ZX and side XY. Which side is the hypotenuse? Side ZY. So, you've got that. Let's move on ahead. The Pythagoras property states the relationship between the sides of a right triangle when C stands for the hypotenuse and A and B are the sides forming the right angle. The formula is a squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. It is read as A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. And it's actually true. If you check it out on a right-angled triangle, you can see that if one side is of length 3, you can draw a 3 by 3 square on it. If the other side is 4, you can draw a 4 by 4 square on it where each square is of the same size as the one on the 3 by 3 grid. Then, check the hypotenuse. You can draw a 5 by 5 grid of squares of the same size. Let's check it through the property now. Triangle ABC, side 1 squared plus side 2 squared is equal to hypotenuse squared. Therefore, AB squared plus BC squared is equal to AC squared. Therefore, 3 squared plus 4 squared is equal to AC squared. Therefore, 9 plus 16 is equal to AC squared. Therefore, 25 is equal to AC squared. Therefore, 5 squared is equal to AC squared. Therefore, 5 is equal to AC. So, even through the Pythagoras property, we can see that we get the same answer. And this way, we can see that the property is true. Pythagoras was a Greek mathematician who lived around 400 BC. There are many people who think that Indian mathematician had already found out this property of a right-angled triangle much before that. An Indian mathematician, Baudhayan, in about 800 BC stated this property of a right-angled triangle too. However, around the world, this property is still famous as the Pythagoras property. Side 1 square plus side 2 square is equal to hypotenuse square. AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square. 7 square plus 24 square is equal to AC square. 49 plus 576 is equal to AC square. 625 is equal to AC square. 25 square is equal to AC square. Therefore, 25 is equal to AC. Going back to Pythagoras theorem, which says, if ABC is a right angled triangle, right angled at B, then AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square, where AC is the hypotenuse and AB and BC are the sides. AC square is greater than BC square and AC square is greater than AB square. Hence, we can say AC is greater than BC 
and AC is greater than AB. Thus, we can say that in a right triangle, the hypotenuse is the longest side. The lengths of the sides of a right triangle are 5 cm and 12 cm. What is the length of its hypotenuse? Since it is given that the triangle is right triangle, by Pythagoras' property, hypotenuse square is equal to side 1 square plus side 2 square, which is equal to 5 square plus 12 square, which is equal to 25 plus 144, which is equal to 169. Therefore, hypotenuse square is equal to 13 square. Therefore, hypotenuse is equal to 13 centimeters. Therefore, our answer is the length of the hypotenuse is 13 centimeters. Let's take a look at another one. Question 3. Find the length x of the hypotenuse of the following triangle. OM square is equal to ON square plus MN square. Therefore, x square is equal to 12 square plus 5 square. Therefore, x square is equal to 144 plus 25. Therefore, x square is equal to 169. Therefore, x is equal to square root of 169. Therefore, x is equal to 13 centimeters. Let's take a look at another one. Question 6. In triangle PQR, angle Q is a right angle. A and B are the legs and C is the hypotenuse. Find the third side if A is equal to 40 and C is equal to 41. C square is equal to A square plus B square by Pythagoras property. Therefore, 41 square is equal to 40 square plus B square. Therefore, 1681 is equal to 1600 plus B square. Therefore, 1681 minus 1600 is equal to b square. Therefore, 81 is equal to b square. Therefore, square root of 81 is equal to b. Therefore, 9 is equal to b. Therefore, b is equal to 9. Therefore, the third side is 9 units. The Pythagoras property even works in reverse. If the square on one side of a triangle is equal to the sum of the squares on the other two sides, then the angle opposite to the first side is a right angle. So, we can use this to check if the given sides form a right angled triangle. Check and see if the sides 11, 60 and 61 form a right angled triangle. If it is, the longest side is the hypotenuse. So, check if 61 square is equal to 60 square plus 11 square. 60 square plus 11 square is equal to 3600 plus 121, which is equal to 3721. 61 square is equal to 3721. So, they are equal. So, these are sides of a right angled triangle. Let's take a look at another one. Check and see if the sides 9, 10, 12 form a right angled triangle. If it is, the longest side is the hypotenuse. So, check if 12 square is equal to 9 square plus 10 square. 9 square plus 10 square is equal to 81 plus 100, which is equal to 181. 12 square is equal to 144. So, they are not equal. So, these are not sides of a right-angled triangle. If they were equal, then the triangle would be a right-angled triangle. Question 10. Read the question. In such questions, it is important to draw a diagram. A rough diagram helps you quickly understand what you have to do. Let's have AC as the wall and the ladder is BD. Put in the distances. What do you have to find? Read the question. You have to find how far above the ground the ladder touches the wall. It touches the wall at B. So you have to find BC. You know that the wall is at a right angle to the ground. So angle C is a right angle. Since it is a right angle, you can use the Pythagoras property. 
so BD square is equal to BC square plus CD square. Therefore, 13 square is equal to BC square plus 5 square. Therefore, 169 is equal to BC square plus 25. You know how to solve equations. Use that knowledge. 169 minus 25 is equal to BC square. Therefore, BC square is equal to 144. Therefore, BC is equal to 12. That is the solution. What are the units? Meters. Therefore, BC is equal to 12 meters. What is the answer? The answer is, the ladder touches the wall 12 meters above the ground. Well done! If you like our videos, do share them and subscribe to our channel. If you want awesome quizzes, write to us. Keep watching and keep learning with Walnut.